What's up people, Squid Doctor here, and I wanted to make a quick video speaking about some common Western philosophical approaches to certain new health trends that are happening um, for physical health, but also mental and consciousness health. Uh, certain therapies such as microdosing, which are, it's a topic that I get asked a lot about, partially is because a lot of my past I have utilize therapies like microdosing a lot in the past and done copious amounts of working with particular medicines and various traditions um, and it's something that Western culture has a huge fascination with because there is a fascination with the magic bullet instant quick fix um, effect of taking a medicine or herbal medicine or some kind of psychedelic spiritual experience which is going to hopefully be a turning point for you where suddenly life gets easier and everything is so expansive and you're so woke you're so enlightened and really I'm making this video because I want to speak a little bit about my own experience with working with uh, certain substances like this um, and also my experience as a practitioner who often is asked how to approach this type of therapy for people who are interested and so one thing I want to say is that taking any kind of like psychedelic medicine, uh, like microdosing, or even going to go do something like ayahuasca with a shaman, is all things that, you know, the right person, the right time, the right place, could be a helpful catalyst to that person's individual path or healing, but is by no means an instant fix-all, and is by no means um, gonna correct somebody's behavior if their foundation is already fundamentally very flawed. So. I mention this because in the West we have this fascination with, um, you know, as a practitioner who also has his own product line and sells very fancy, nice supplements, um, I'm often in a place of conflict because I feel like this is something that mostly more privileged people are going to be able to afford and have. And my intention in selling this stuff isn't because it's to have somebody live forever or look as good as possible um, and I feel like our Western culture really focuses on the individual we really focus on me 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 my problems my spiritual enlightenment my path my career and it's very the opposite of expansive and it creates a lot of uh, mental health issues in my opinion people are a little bit too focused on optimizing you know their physical body their consciousness or having a certain spiritual experience or, or maintaining a particular identity and this is problematic because really the intention of all these things, um, like having amazing supplements that you can take every day is a very privileged thing to be able to do. And so what we do with that energy that we get from that, with the mental clarity, with whatever personal revelation we may receive through being a more optimized nutritional state, whether that be using supplements or eating particular foods or you know, doing something like ayahuasca or microdosing mushrooms or something, um, that the intention of doing all these things really is to be a better service to the people around us, to be able to have more energy, to share and to create a higher quality of life, not just for ourselves, but for the people around us. Um, so that's one common misconception and a basic intent behind why we do these things that I just want to clarify. As somebody who sells these supplements, like I really encourage people to be not so stressed out about eating the perfect foods or like being on this perfect diet or taking a perfect supplement, but to to like kind of incorporate these tools as a way to be a little bit more community oriented and be able to share whatever energy that they're receiving from these particular therapies to better the quality of life of the people around them. Um, so that's one point topic that I want to say. I think that Western culture has a lot of mental health issues because um, there's pros and cons to capitalism, but one of the cons would be that people become very individually focused um, on their career, what they're doing as an individual, and we can only thrive so far as an individual. Very quickly we realize we need help, and even if we have the charisma or the willpower to build something into existence by ourselves without really utilizing the help of community and having a communal mindset, um, eventually we will feel like a sense of emptiness and stress and depression which will arise from this fundamental foundational layer that was not addressed in the beginning 
of why are we doing this, what is the intention of doing this, and that like all the intention, attention or validation in the world is never going to fill any kind of spiritual hole that we have because really the thing that makes us all feel useful is to be useful to one another and that gives us a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning in life. So I just want to say that. And another thing I want to say is, you know, if basic foundational things are out of alignment, like you're not sleeping regular hours, but you want to go microdose a bunch of acid or mushrooms, like for days on end, that's not going to really help you because, or if you're not eating regular meals or just really boring stuff, like just, you know, scheduling enough time to take care of yourself. There's all stuff that like we here in the West want to get really fancy really quick. We don't want to actually change our behaviors and do the boring daily work that is necessary to actually create an expansive foundation, but we want the expansion, we want the enlightenment. Like right now, we want that magical effect. And just as somebody who also, you know, experimented extensively with microdosing and working with various different medicine um, people and, and practitioners throughout my 20s, you know, I would find that I was chasing an experience that wasn't really um, I had gotten the message, which was to clean up my life and to get things done, like figure out how to pay my bills and be a grounded individual in this physical world. But I kept chasing this more, more and more enlightened experience. And what I found is that you can only digest so many spiritual lessons at once. Um, otherwise, you start to get overwhelmed and can create a lot of imbalance in people. So I make this video because of the popularity of things like microdosing or doing ayahuasca and peyote or whatever it is. And all these things are can be incredible tools under the right circumstances, with the right intentions, with the right practitioner or community. But um, I make this video because I see a lot of people continuously chasing that without doing the work of the ceremony is each day. The ceremony is how you treat the people around you on a day-to-day -day basis and your thoughts or intentions of being of service to people around you rather than so focused on your individual spiritual experience that you're actually kind of ironically cutting yourself off from all the wisdom that these medicines are supposedly supposed to give you. So hopefully that was helpful to reflect on. And um, of course right now the acupuncture situation is fairly a little bit uptight. So there's some new clinical guidelines in play about wearing a face mask and sterilizing and changing sheets and obviously not treating anyone with cold or flu symptoms. But if you would like to book a session, I am open and taking small amounts of clients who are abiding by quarantine standards. Um, feel free to DM me and please um, subscribe to this Instagram page if you would like and check out the new and improved website in the bio link. Be with you soon. Peace.